Trying to be a YouTube star. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So the way I set this up at the old old school, we had a military specific bench for military press that was it was huge. The thing was like this big. We having a room for it, but the angle was unbelievable. So what I did is a makeshift one here. I just blocking the camera. That's really good, Corey. All right. So I got my booster seat because I can't get high enough on this bench. Because what I want to do is I want to be able to tuck my head over top of this so then the bar path can come straight down facing to my chin or my chest and up. I got that no rotator cuff in this side, so I try to keep a more narrow grip. And then, yep, one, two, up. Keep that bar path real specific, right like that, which has allowed me to keep doing this exercise. Ah. <laughs> My best back in the day when I was a lot heavier was like 245 for a single. Same kind of grip and everything. I think I've been able to go up to 205 since I had that shoulder injury, staying with that bar path and still being able to do these lifts, which has helped contribute to me benching 300 pounds again without no shoulder pain. So, just saying, make sure your military situation and angles, and even though I got a C in geometry, you gotta make sure your geometry's right. All right, so my uh, training partner here, uh, John Ramirez, is going behind the neck, which is, He's a little older than me, so that's all he saw growing up, behind the neck. You gotta make sure, three, two, up. Make sure you hit your earlobes on each one, though. So you don't need, I think it got a bad rap because motherfuckers were banging it off their fucking traps. Earlobes and up, and keep it in that groove. I'm telling you, when you get good at these, it makes your fucking shoulders feel so fucking strong. Good, John. Nice, nice work, nice work. Good work, good work. Earlobes and up, good. Nice. Yep. Good work. So you just hit four sets of 135. Makes like, I'm telling you, back in the day, um, I did them all behind the, behind the neck before I hurt my shoulder, not from doing this. But anyway, that's one of those ones that if you haven't done it in a while, just stay light, but get some reps in. Earlobes it up, just see how you feel. Check it out. So, if you want to get that chest pump, you want to get it to make, it's going to be convulsing that it's got so much blood in it. It's these high rep, fucking close grip, hit right there, which gives you just a crazy pump. So a lot of people think close grip is only for triceps, but I'm telling you, if you do it like John and I are doing, 15 to 25 reps, narrow, keep it right in that like, where you're not fully extended, you're just keeping the pressure on it like that, almost like a fucking spring, puts a ton of blood in your chest. Watch like this. Ugh. All right, one, two, up. I'm intentionally touching it like right around nipple level, and I'll just keep it right in that pocket. And that will give you that right up in there, right there. Tight Todd. Yeah, finish. Nice, Todd. Ooh. Fucking Dude, that, that's hard. Hey, so what you just watched is a three stop pause from Masters competitor Todd Dunkel, who's a fucking strong motherfucker. Is you went one, so it teaches you to load your lats up. So if you're looking at me from the side, one, you just look, so you're already loading your lats. You got one, two in the middle, three on the bottom, then press. Whenever we compete in competitions, we have to pause at the bottom. So it really teaches you how to load your lats. The conjugate version of that, meaning like the variation. So variation number one is it's not just a pause, it's a three stop pause. Variation number two is we're using the fat bar, which is 55 pounds and because it's fat, you can't squeeze it the same way as you can a regular bar. So 
this wasn't just a bench press. This was like two variations thrown in up to a max for the three stop pause. And that's the way that we kind of program here on the Core G Fitness app and at Old School Gym. Check it out. All right, so we got a set of eight on lateral raises. We're gonna fight the eccentric down is the plan. So we'll go up. Ooh. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Woo. Ah, makes a huge difference fighting them on the way down. Definitely give it a try. <laughs> 